course this happens when I fall asleep. Welcome back to the show, I'm Stevon Cyrus, and yes, you've already heard Pascal Siakam is on his way to the Indiana Pacers, and as you can see here, we're getting Bruce Brown, Jordan Wara, and three first round picks. Two of those are going to be this year, and the other one is going to be a first round in 2026. This is also a three-way trade with the Pelicans, so Toronto is also receiving another player by the name of Kyra Lewis. Overall, I think this is a good move for both sides. For Indiana, you have to make a trade like this. Not a lot of stars are going to end up in Indiana, so getting a Pascal Siakam to take so much pressure off of Tyrese Halliburton in terms of scoring is great. And Pascal Siakam back in the second option, I think he's going to flourish so much better in that role like he did behind Kawhi and Kyle Lowry. I still think there are a few pieces away from being something really good, but for now, this is a great starting block for them. And for Toronto, we're putting all our eggs on Scotty Barnes, Emmanuel Quickly, and RJ Barrett. We're going to build around those guys. We're going to see what we can do with the rest of the roster. Bringing in a guy like Bruce Brown, he fills in some really good holes. Of course, he was a major part of Denver's awesome play last year and winning the championship. So I think he's also a great additional piece for this team right now. Not sure what Toronto's really going to do with those picks. They could just kind of see if they can package them for a better player, or they can see if they can actually get some real talent and develop them uh, for the years to come. This trade worked out for both teams, I think, in the long run, right? Toronto had to reset. Indiana had to make a move to get better. And honestly, for right now, I think both teams won for what they were trying to accomplish to do. Let me know your thoughts below.